Kia good afternoon. Welcome along to the Bullings Heartland Championship. A mouthwatering encounter today down here at the Tamuka Domain in Tamuka. It's round one of the Bunnings Heartland Championship. Wonderful to have your company today. Brilliant that you can join us. I'm Donnie Bell here. We've got a great game ahead of us. It's South Canterbury taking on Thames Valley. A replay of last year's big cup final. Good. And uh, referee uh, Daniel Moore saying the ball's gone backwards there, but some real pressure coming in here from the Thames Valley Swamp Foxes. But here they go, South Canterbury have broken away with it. Absolutely flying down the field is the big number eight. What a run from Tal Mahuni, just as he's looking for support, and they can't get there in time, and Thames Valley managed to get themselves out of that. Holding but Brendan, on. what a run from Tal Mahuni. Oh, Tal Mahuni. so dangerous there, just going straight through. Outstanding piece of work, unfortunately, just probably ran away from the support. Once again, Wright getting his hands on the ball, and they go to the number eight, Tal Mahuni. Hold. Tamahuni. And once again, it's uh, Tai Lega. Baka Tai Lega. We've seen him looking to get his hands on the ball early. For feeder. Right. Briggs. Short ball. Wonderful stuff here. Looks like South Canterbury are over for the try, and they are. What a start from South Canterbury here, Brendan. We're just coming up now, waiting to see who the try scorer is. But some lovely short ball, some wonderful movement. And it looks like it is the man himself who started the action, Willie Wright. Yeah, fantastic effort. The kick was the one right earlier on with off the line out. He put them down the right position with Tim Valley kicking out. And then it was just beautiful offloading, just popping the ball. Next guy onto the ball, hitting it at pace. Good work right on those And some fantastic hands. Fafita with a lovely ball. Willie Wright, low, got hit high, but he did a great job getting it down. And that is a fantastic start for the South Canterbury side. And no man more deserving than Willie Wright. He's had his hands on the ball, his kicking game, and great to see him finish that one off, Brendan. Yeah, for fantastic effort. And here, here we go, it's Sam Briggs knocking that over. Was a great effort, wasn't it, to get over, just seeing Sam Briggs convert that. And now we see the winger. We know what he can do, Leah Tagaga. It didn't look good back here, Brendan. Looks like uh, Tapia's in a bit of trouble. Just out in front of us here, just as play continues, though, for South Canterbury. As they slide up wide, here comes Mackay. Mackay looks for the inside ball, look to uh, tuck that to uh, Biaka. And South Canterbury still going here. Here's Bukaka now, running it right. Short ball, and they're over. South Canterbury, the Green and Blacks have scored their second try, and it's the fullback, Samoti, over. As we see Briggs lining this one up, and over it goes here in the Bunnings Heartland Championship here at the Tamuka Domain. It's South Canterbury leading 14, Thames Valley nil. South Canterbury, fantastic opportunity for them, and just can't quite find their man, Tal Mahuni. They had the right idea, but it looks like South Canterbury might have still got their hands on the ball, and they have Willie Roy, and he goes to Nick Strawn, of course, his club teammate, his captain. Once again, William Wright. Now they go. Uh, the fullback getting involved. Of course, Samoti. And the referee just taking that back for a penalty here, Brendan. And he banks it straight between the horns. Absolutely no problems there. So the man who spent a lot of time up in Nelson playing his rugby, Sam Briggs, the ever dangerous first five, makes uh, makes that one count in 17 nil. Big start for them here, Brendan. Huge start for them. What a player Leroy Neils has been so far. Talking to his forward pack, he's just got it trapped at the back. And he goes straight away. It looked like they were going to try and use Sweeney there. But it is uh, Doolin, in fact, that holds on to it. Look, ball. Now they go to the blindside flanker, Mal Fongu Fongu. And looking to go straight through, and they have him. They're over the Swamp Foxes. They have hit back when they had to hit back. And that's some nice play there, straightening things up, Brendan, and crashing over. Oh, what a try, and a desperately needed one, too. 26, 27 minutes into this match, and that man there, Mal Fongu Fongu, with ball in hand, has been magnificent. Look at the bump off of the couple of would -bees just absolutely throwing them uh, basically to the scraps there, the other way he's just pushed them off. Well, there was plenty of defenders around him. South Canterbury jerseys everywhere, and the big man has just used his power and strength 
looking to get things going. And that's a big crunching tackle there from Sava Leo, who's made that. It looked like it was on the... Uh, it was, I beg your pardon, it was Sava Leo that got hit. It was a nicely timed tackle, just as we see South Canterbury continuing to take the ball up nicely. And so definitely some nice tackling here. Nick Strawn, the captain. But it looks like the referee's got his arm up for a penalty, just as Mackay knew they had the penalty and he tried to make something happen expansively out wide. And he banks it. He's making uh, very little mistakes today, Brooks. Certainly hasn't made one there. He's put that straight through the middle. As we see things here in the Bunnings Heartland Championship, South Canterbury with a rip-roaring start down here at the Tamuka Domain. They weren't going to get up first. Here's a tongue twister for you. Exactly. And uh, we got there in the end, and out it goes. They uh, bang that into the touchline, and what a first half. Briggs putting that out. Great first half from South Canterbury here. Absolutely fantastic first half. 20 points to seven for South Canterbury side up against Thames Valley. And what a first half we've had. And the hooker, here he goes, Connor Anderson, getting his hands on the ball and just shows how lethal he is with the ball in hand. Willie Wright really fighting like a bantam rooster for it. And here we go, Zachy McCoy, Zach McCoy putting the snap kick through and he wins it. And McCoy just trying to link up with his man. Of course, he's got the got the man, Lavaka, in number 20. And here we go, racing away goes the left wing, Leah Tagaga. And just can't quite get there. But uh, he was off, Niels. And he tucks that back into one of his forwards there. And they're holding on to it. Looked like it was the number one, actually, McQueen. Getting involved. Now they go uh, straight and hard. It's worked for them so far. Why go away from it? And it's worked uh, worked incredibly well. They get a penalty off it, Brendan. Chance to strike here. Well, it'll be interesting to see what they do here, Donny. Do they take the points or do they go into the corner Reasonably easy kick, don't want to jinx the guy, but reasonably easy <laughs> kick right in front as we see him put this one over. So a valuable three points for the Swamp Foxes, 20 points to 10. The more you see individuals are starting to stand out and really put their stamp on this game, especially from South Canterbury. We've seen it now, Russell, he can't stay out of the action, takes that down. Davidson, Briggs, Mackay, and here we go, the right winger, it's Biaka, and here he goes, flying through. But unfortunately can't hold on to it. But that was uh, some line break there. Now Thames Valley have got it. Sweeney going for the big goal. Oh. And uh, the loose head props come up with it. And he's come up short. He's coming up to the hooker. And all that energy for nothing. The referees brought it back, Brendan. They had me up. But still not quite stamped out and put to bed yet, Brendan. No, definitely not. This Thames Valley, there's plenty of players on their side that can get back into this match. Just as we see Bonner about to put it in and they're being penalised here, Brendan. So South Canterbury will have the option here. Uh, it would be a tough kick. I'm sure they, will, uh, they would have given it some thought, though. Briggs. Over. Great. South Canterbury. How's that for a nudge, Brendan? Lovely kick. And exactly what the South Canterbury side needed. And here they go, rip-roaring into it for Fida with a big bounce-off. And here they come, look at him go, the big number 20, Lavarka, making ground like you wouldn't believe. And here they go, straight off that, they go to Russell, who's getting involved once again. Russell's been good, it was Dale and Russell, 18, 19, working in tandem, and the referee's blown things up here. Sorry, we've got a serious injury, OK? How about that run, Brendan? Oh, unbelievable. Looks like someone's down. Injured, someone's which is down. No good. I yeah. think it's a guy he hit, unfortunately. He yeah, got go bowled go. into. Just the ball. Yeah. And unfortunately, he's gone straight down. Lavaka with yeah, ball in hand. looking good there. You don't like to see it. But you certainly like to see Lavaka looking good in hand. We're just trying to see the replay now. The crowd are clapping off. Poor Bonner here. Wonderful tribute from the uh, crowd down here at the Tamuka Domain. Massive show of respect there, Brendan. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. He's certainly in great hands. And Ben, we hope your recovery is speedy, mate. You've got to appreciate the way they've held it together and put so much heat on, Brendan. Absolutely. Well, it's given their 9 and 10 the chance to do this. Big, long kicks. Yeah, big punt back. And here he goes now, Doolan. Doolan running it hard. Up to the 10. 
Here they go to Vakapuna. Vakapuna having a bit of a go, trying to get round his outside. And once again, it's the uh, blindside flanker, Ma'o Fongo Fongo, who has not stopped all game. As we see, once again, it's Clark. Clark getting his mitts on the ball. He's come on the 19 jersey, and here he is. I was talking about him before, Tuiaki. In the number three, he's come off the reserve bench, as we know, and Thames Valley looking like they're going to go over here. Inches away. And the short ball, they go to the big man, Dwayne Sweeney. Sweeney over! Over for the Swamp Foxes! And gets the deserving merits in. Over for the try, Brendan. Oh, outstanding work. Oh, beautiful kick. Straight down the middle. Absolutely outstanding. Throughout the game. And they go to Lavaka. Up he goes in the 20 jumper. Has not stopped. And South Canterbury looking to play some smart footy. And Davidson kicks it out. And that's it here. That is it. Round one of the Bunnings Heartland Championship. We have seen a great game here, Brendan. South Canterbury holding on to this one, 23 points to 17. And that's it from us here at the Tamuka Domain. I'm Donny Bell. Brendan, thanks to have your company here in this Heartland Championship game. The sun is shining. We've seen some enterprising rugby, and that's it from us.